What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wealth Not Wait. I am your host, as always, Joe Squeeze. And on today's episode, we are talking about consistency. Consistency, which is basically everything, of course, your health and your wealth, um, and just everything in between. Now, those of you who know me for a while, who follow me on Instagram, you know I'm not the best with consistency, but I do give it a good effort with a lot. Um, consistency is really what will get you to where you need to be, you know? It's not just eating healthy for one day and then eating crap the rest. It's not just investing a portion of one paycheck or a little bit here and there. It's doing something consistent. Every time I get money, with, you know, if it's really any money, um, with again a few exceptions, but the general rule is most money that I earn, at least, um, I will then take a portion of it, maybe the majority, maybe the minority of it, however I, I divvy it up, whatever I can afford, whatever is reasonable, whatever is going to give me the result that I want, and I'm able to put that towards my investments. If it's 10%, it's 10%. If I get $5 and I put $4 of it towards it, that's what I do. Um, if I go into it with you know, a, a mindset of, hey, I need a, I'm trying to purchase this investment, and I'm trying to, you know, this is the goal is to purchase this particular investment, um, and I have 100 bucks, then maybe I'll put all 100 to it. Um, maybe if I have, you know, 100 bucks, but I need it to do something else immediately, something in the short term that is very important, uh, you know, say buy gas, um, pay for registrations, you know, license, um, say I am going somewhere and I, I know I need cash for that that second, then maybe I won't put as much, if any, towards it. Usually I try and put at least something, if it's $5, a dollar, $10, every little bit makes a difference, especially when you have apps like Robinhood, Acorns, um, most things like Ameritrade and whatnot now. I don't know if Ameritrade does it specifically, but I know a good amount of those uh, brokerages will let you invest with really anything over a dollar. Any crypto, if you do anything like that, um, most of them will do over a dollar. So, but the consistency is key. Setting up at least a portion of your account, if you have a consistent paycheck, having a portion of that go in and invest consistently. I didn't just drop in a lump sum of money and be like, okay, cool, I'm investing now. You know, I had some life savings, which, it, you know, when I started like, you know, 16, something along those lines, maybe a little sooner, it wasn't really much. You know, I mean, it's, you know, very, very small comparably, I imagine, to what most people would imagine life savings is. Um, you know, just work at the restaurant, you know, making a couple bucks here or there. So, but I, I put that amount into it, but then since then I've consistently saved portions of my paycheck, portion of money from selling things on eBay, portion of money from making things in Uber, portion of things from books, however it is, consistently adding it in, and it grows up and creates a nice sum over time. And that also works with your investments because they say that the, the market, you, when you make money over, over the term and you invest in the market, there's really 10 to 12 really good days. If you're invested during those times, if you're an oracle and you can predict those 10 to 12 days, all that you need to do is put the money in the right investments at the right times. However, that is significantly harder to do. It's easier said than done. Uh, even people like Warren Buffett don't recommend it, and he has a very strong, very analytical way of looking and, and putting in investments that he's saying you're, you're playing stocks and trading and you know day trading and stuff like that. Some people can do it, you know, Power, power be them, but the majority of people will lose money doing that. You can learn and learn the art. Sometimes it's just a feeling, it's a skill, it's talent to it. There's a lot of other stuff that goes into it than just learning some analytics. But for a consistent investor, most of you here, I imagine, are who aren't really into day trading or anything like that, something that I'm, again, not an expert on, um, going and putting money in consistently into the market, you'll be able to manage out, the, out those 10 days. You have, you know, $100 and then $1,000 and then 10000 and then 100000 a million, whatever it is. During those 10 days, of course, you're going to get the negative, but you'll be invested in the market with an um, amount of money that you found reasonable. Again, not, you know, every little single thing that you got, but amount of money that you found reasonable towards a retirement, towards a goal, whatever it is you'll be invested during those 10 days. So when you experience those huge booms that day, you'll, you'll be invested. You won't have to worry about putting money in before that day or putting money in on that day or whatever it is or time in the market, you'll already be invested. And then you'll go with the normal ebbs and flows of just the traditional market, your ups and downs. And you'll make small gains here, make you know small losses, maybe some bigger losses, maybe some you know bigger gains, whatever the case may be. But you'll be invested in for those important 10 days and your money will grow then exponentially. That, and over the course of time, like we say, the average is 10% a year. If you only put money in one year and then you don't do anything else, and they expect some form of average or something, some, the number out, it's over the course of your lifetime investing is what you'll get 10 years. It's a consistency effort. This again goes for weight. 
Um, obviously, it just requires consistent effort. I work out now almost every day. You don't have to do that, but you have to work out in some form of consistent schedule. Consistency is key and it keeps you set on a good schedule. If you wake up in the morning, every morning you get set up, get a glass of water, take your pre-workout and work out, you'll be more consistent with working out and therefore you'll work out one more obviously and then two your body will get in a better rhythm and you'll naturally be healthier by doing that. You'll, you're working out more, you're working out better, you're in a more natural rhythm, it's not a big shock to your body and you're like, whoa, what's going on? You'll be more geared towards working out and then therefore be healthier. With again, of course, then working out more and, and getting better at working out. You can focus more on, on key muscle groups, on what you're doing, different types of workouts. You then learn through consistency. If you do something every single day, you're going to get good at it eventually. You know, you may not be the best in the world, but you're going to get good at it or get good to a satisfactory level that you're like, yes, this is going to get me to where I need to be. But again, that applies to really anything. And same thing with your diet. Um, diet especially is not just one good day and then a bunch of bad days or some good days here or some bad days here. You know, of course you're gonna have bad days and of course you're gonna have good days, but if majority you focus on eating healthy most of the week, six days a week and with maybe one kind of cheat day or seven days a week with a cheat meal or something along those lines. If you're consistent with your eating, if you're consistent, okay, I'm trying to find new things and eat right and do all that, gradually your weight and then your health will improve, of course. Um, if you're a, now as far as a negative thing, if you're a smoker and you smoke consistently, consistently your health is going to get worse. That compound effect then works negatively to you. If you're taking out money and you're spending on your credit card and you do credit and you, you do use all that, that's going to affect you negatively because you're consistently doing a negative habit. If you do something a lot, you're gonna get really good at it. So if you get really good at doing something bad, that's again, not good. You know, oh, I spend more money than I make and I do that all the time. Well, that consistency is gonna hurt you. But doing it consistently saying, hey, I'm really good at budgeting, you know, it takes a lot for then for me to go out and just blow all my budget and blow everything and not invest and not do that and then eat like crap. It takes a lot for me to do that. And then it also keeps you in a focus. If you take, like I know I did it a little bit, if you take some time off for say the holidays and you eat a little worse, so you know, not a little worse, but noticeably worse, um, and you start to loosen those restrictions more and more, the more and more you loosen those restrictions and eat crappily, the harder it's gonna be get to be back in that flow. Of course, if you take a week, you take a day, that's a different story. But if you take a month off from eating good, or you take a month off from working out, or you don't invest any money for a month or two, you know, you start to then have a harder time getting back into that flow. Keeping in a consistent flow is not only gonna give you give you these huge amounts of benefits from then the compounding effect of it, but you're gonna get better at doing it because you're doing it consistency, you're learning, you're learning what works for you and learning how to get better. And it avoids those negative consistencies, the things that are ultimately going to hurt you if you continue to do. And you don't have to worry about getting back into the flow because you're already in the flow. So consistency is key uh, with anything with business relationships. Uh, relationships go again in highs and lows. If you want to have a good relationship, you have to consistently be a good partner, consistently do the things that you need to do. Of course, you're gonna have mistakes. Of course, there's gonna be fights. Of course, you know maybe you're having a bad day. But overall, if you're consistent and you're trying to do the best thing you can, as often as you can, things will work out for the better. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what your uh, experience with consistency is. Uh, you're someone like me who has a little bit of a hard time doing consistency on certain things and an easier time doing consistency on other things. Like it's hard, a little hard for me to post every day. You know, I, I, I like record videos and I do all that, but it's sometimes forgetful for me to post a Snapchat or something along those lines or an Instagram, sorry. Um, but then other things like naturally I just attune to investing. So is that something that you guys do? And I'll see you all later. Peace.